everybody, welcome back. These are some influencers getting humbled in 10 seconds or less. Either these influencers get humbled by the people in this video, or I'm gonna be the one doing the humbling. Guys, isn't this the girl who does those restaurant videos? Excuse me, are you the girl that does like those videos on like Instagram and TikTok, like the restaurant videos? I just want to say that I love your content. Yeah, I just want to, I'm sorry, I don't know if it's like a character, but I just want to say that I really like your videos. I, that, that's, I didn't mean to bother you, I'm sorry. Why like not talking to me on the train? Like my fear coming on the subway is like people not talking to me in this way because I'm taking the train, so I really appreciate it if you just mind your business. I really appreciate it. I actually just want to say that I admire your concert, and I was just, I'm sorry, like, I, 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 why did you think I care? Isn't, like it, just, isn't it just a personality? Wait, why did you think I care about whatever is coming out of your mouth right now? Is there a reason that you're talking to me? I, I was I, literally I was looking like a tiny fan. Yeah. I am not interested. Yeah. Okay, so I got beef with this influencer. All right, <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I just like I know that she does a lot of content where she trolls everybody and stuff like that. I just like I've never understood the mentality of like wanting to be someone that everyone hates. Like to me, this looks staged, but like, why would you stage a video pretending to be an awful, awful person just for views? I can barely handle it when y'all get mad at me if I say something that I shouldn't have said or I share an opinion that not everybody agrees with. I can't even imagine turning on that camera and being someone everyone hates. I can't, I can't do it. The people pleaser in me will not allow me. Okay, so here's her response. I'm sure we've all seen this video of this girl on the train trying to take a photo with me. First of all, I was having a dilemma between calling my driver or taking the train. My driver wasn't close by and the train was faster. So I got in the train and then the second I sat down, this girl came and sat next to me and pulled out her camera and started talking. And I was kind of confused why she pulled out the camera because at least you can like talk to me first and then say, hey, can we take a photo or whatever? But the fact that you just like pull out the camera and it was just off guard and out of nowhere and I was already having a lot of anxiety about being on the train. We're in New York City. The train is a very dangerous place. So I was just kind of scared for myself because I don't know who she is. Is. you can't just open a camera and just start talking and expect somebody to like be your best friend like that's kind of crazy if you're a pretty girl i know you can relate to my situation usually a lot of people come up to me and try to take a photo with me and that's fine if you ask me but you can't just act like i'm obligated to take photos with you like i'm really sorry but you can't just pull up a camera and put it on my face like that at least be a little respectful and nice and ask for permission as soon as that happened i got off the train i called my driver and i was like i'll just wait for you at this cafe just come and get me because there's no way this stuff can happen plus the fact that i'm a pretty girl just makes me so susceptible for these kind of situations and sometimes i just wish i could just wear a hat and glasses and just like have a mask on 24 7 because this can't keep happening unfortunately and as a pretty girl i need to be careful of what may come You know, you had me until you went off on the pretty girl tangent. You are a pretty girl. <laughs> you are. I don't think that that is related to this particular interaction. I agreed with you when you said that people shouldn't just whip out a camera and start filming you. But if you're not in this because you want tons of people to be able to recognize you and you want clout on the internet, why are you in on it? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> if you want it to stop happening, babes, we gotta stop making content and people will forget about you. Ooh, there's another response. Your explanation is so bad, girl. How about you tell them that before I even started recording, before I even sat down, you were already eyeing me. Not only that, but you literally grabbed your handbag, you grabbed your purse and you put it on the seat so I wouldn't take it. How about you tell them that your attitude was so disgusting, had no boundaries, no respect. Your attitude was so nasty, so disgusting and yet you think you live a privileged and beautiful life and everybody here on earth, everybody here, we're like peasants. But of course, no, no, you're the princess and you're the one who has a driver, has a personal chef. You're so, so entirely stuck up. You need a big taste of reality, girl. And you will get it sooner or later. Kisses. So my, my thoughts on this is that this whole like internet beef was planned. Like it was all planned. And I would definitely think twice about believing internet beef if I were you. <laughs> just because it's a thing. It's a thing to drive views and traffic to, you know, both 
sides. I can't handle that kind of thing. I can't handle the negativity. Like, I literally can't do it. They claim that it wasn't for views. I don't know. I think there are, there's a little, there's something going on here. Like, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, based on the kind of content that this, this girl posts, to me personally, I think that she did it. It was planned. You know, from one content creator to another, how do you do it? How do you make content and like be okay with everybody not liking you? Like, I don't, please help me understand because I don't know how to do it. I care too much. God, even if one person doesn't like me, it just ruins my whole damn day. Whole day. Didn't Winta Zizu start crying because no one took photos of her? I mean, yeah, that was that, yeah, that was that same girl. She posted a video that like she was on a red carpet and she was upset that no one took her photo. And now you're like upset that people are taking photos? Make it make sense! Make it make sense! I can't tell if this is satire or not. Not satire, I'm exposing her tomorrow. She's getting humbled. It's satire, they're friends, okay? Like, you know. I think it's satire, so to speak. I'm sorry, but so many influencers are actually so f out of touch. Mm -hmm. I really just saw somebody with millions of followers post on their Snapchat. Is it an alarm setting kind of night for anybody else? Yes, Jan, everybody has to wake up and go to work. Or when you see somebody post a luxury haul, oh my God, I'm so poor now, while holding up a $20,000 Birkin, <laughs> while living in a $5,000 to $10,000 a month apartment in LA, while going to the Air One, whatever, that place is called spending 12 to 15 dollars on a damn smoothie every day but you're so poor right just to sell your house and travel you're only going to be young once babe babe most people can't even buy a house <laughs> most people can't even move out right now like babe there is nothing wrong with treating yourself and buying yourself something nice but like don't try to downplay it to be relatable to the masses that <laughs> it's not going to relate to don't get me wrong, some people actually are playing a whole facade. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in another TikTok, but I literally witnessed somebody's car get declined trying to buy a very expensive multi-thousand dollar purse. And somehow they managed to open another credit card on their phone and pay for it on the spot. And y'all are really about to gag at this one. I had a friend who was actually moving into a new spot. The house that she lived in before was a very beautiful, like 10, 15,000 square foot house. After helping her pack all her stuff, we went over to her new place. At this point, I have never seen it. Keep in mind, the entire time while we're packing, this person is telling me how scared they are to move there, that it's a dangerous area, it's not as nice as the house we're living in now. You want to know what we pulled up to? She dead ass into one of the most luxurious apartment complexes I have ever seen in my life. I'm talking about $15,000 rent type nice. Yes, some people pay that much. But after helping her move all her stuff in and seeing her sitting on the floor crying about how ghetto her apartment was, and me being somebody that actually grew up poor, the friendship was over then. Because that is actually so f So when y'all ask me, oh my god, why don't you hang out with this influencer anymore? Why don't you hang out with this person anymore? These people are different. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I mean, listen, there's nothing wrong with getting to a point where you're successful and you can buy yourself nice things. But we gotta remember to be a little grateful too, you know? We gotta look around at our situation and be like, damn, you know, this is a pretty good situation. Let's not complain. And also, like, if you're gonna complain, definitely know your audience, babe. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but there's been like a serious decline in like, you know, like luxury fashion videos on YouTube because there just isn't a market for it. There's literally, nobody wants to watch someone post about how great their life is. No one. It's not like, it's just not a thing anymore. People hate that shit. And if you don't know that, you're very out of touch. Do you want everyone to hate you immediately? Post about how rich you are and how inconvenient <laughs> being rich is. <laughs> and sure enough, you're gonna get a lot of haters. The masses do not wanna hear you complain about your privileged life. <laughs> oh my God, guys, so today I went to a TikTok event, which that in and of itself crazy because sometimes i forget that this isn't just a game on my phone you know i was feeling really good you know i looked hot i didn't look like this you know obviously i looked hot I had a great outfit on i felt good you know confident talking to everybody i was humbled real quick <laughs> i go to the bathroom and all the stalls are full and then this girl comes out of the toilet and i'm standing there washing my hands 
what, 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 what? She's beside me. And she just starts humming, which I'm like, cute, fine, you know? Yes. Like, she literally just starts going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So me being fun and cute and trying to be confident and, like, nice and have a chat, I went, all right, it's a sing-along. Woohoo. She looks at me. <laughs> she looks at me like this. She didn't want to borrow it. She didn't give a f <laughs> She just wanted to hum on her own, I Whoa. guess. I don't know. But I'm like, I'm sorry. Don't come beside me and just start humming and think that I'm just going to side-eye you. <laughs> no, we're going to be friends. We're going to talk about it. Look, what I learned today is that you can only try so hard. It's always worth trying every single time to make that little connection and have that little human connection. And if people don't receive it well, they're not hot and fun. And that's on them. You know what, girl? I bet you anything... Wait, let, let, let me see your handle. Let me see how many followers you have. You, you, okay. I used to go to those events too and people would kind of treat me like I was nobody and they'd be super rude to me. Logan Paul was very rude to me once. Okay, so 348,000 followers. That's pretty substantial, I'm not gonna lie. You got a pretty decent following, especially on TikTok. That app, it's very hard to grow on, so good for you. Watch what happens as soon as you hit, you know, like the million, two million mark. As soon as everybody thinks that they can get something from you, because that's realistically why people go to these events. They go to network, right? Network, which is another word for... I'm only going to pay attention to the people who I can get something from. God, I have a very jaded view of the world. I'm not going to lie, but like, I got experience with this shit. I'm just going to say, I don't go to networking events, like, unless I'm contractually obligated to be there. <laughs> No. I also have to know other people going too. Like I gotta have like a safe, a safe group, you know? This is my people. My people need to go there. Yeah, because the fact of the matter is she didn't know who you were. She didn't think that she could get anything from you. So she didn't feel the need to treat you with respect. But watch what happens. Watch what happens when the tides turn and you're the popular influencer. My, 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 how the tables have turned. Who goes into like a bathroom, like a girl's bathroom and doesn't automatically think that they're gonna make friends. You know what I mean? I, I feel like that's the point, right? We all go like bathroom safe space. We all have a little chit chat. Right? Why you coming with an attitude? You just booed, I just booed, we the same. <laughs> Why you acting like your sh stank? Look at the comments. Look at the comments. Girl, she killed your vibe and I'm not here for it. Let's get it back up. My God, yes. Okay, so I've got like actually a story that goes along with it. A few stories, but I'll just share this one. I went to like VidCon one year and this was when I was like nobody. Like I, I just like worked for another channel. I was no one. I was so excited to be there. And like I was with this like group of people and, and my friend Sophia was very good at beatboxing. And we were just having the best time. Like she was beatboxing and I was singing. We got on this bus and we were gonna go to this like influencer event. I was so I'm grateful to be there. I was so excited. You know, we're at the front of the bus and we're just like, you know, playing around. The bus is like half empty, pretty much empty. And another group of influencers, very young, get on the bus. They go to the back of the bus and, you know, we're just like minding our own business, having fun. They literally shout from the back of the bus, shut up! <gasps> like you're literally on a party bus, okay? This is not a public bus. This is like, this is a party bus. We're all in like different groups enjoying ourselves and by the way we sounded pretty damn good like i'm not gonna lie we sounded good if if you heard that you'd be like damn that's cool and, and the <laughs> up thing is one of the influencers was also a singer so i found it so odd that she was like yeah like <laughs> join in you know what i mean we were just jamming having a good time oh my god bro like literally i i have not felt bullied as an adult more so than in that moment. Like I haven't felt that feeling since I was like 13. It was awful. <laughs> but yeah, again, they didn't match the energy. They thought they were too cool for school and they just wanted to rain on, on the parade. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's gonna be savvy good. Everyone is talking about the time they met an influencer. I got a story for you, I got a story for you. Right, so I'd just been invited to like the biggest kind of event for me to be invited to. And I was like, eh, oh my God, guys, I've made it, I've made it. Um, I had been to influencer events before because I have friends that are influencers and like, so I've been with them as their plus ones. So we get there 
it's good vibes it's good vibes the queue for the drinks is very long but like it's okay everyone's everyone there is just content 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 i'm like okay do you know what you are content creators do your thing girl do your damn boy do your thing okay now this is all fun and games until right there's this girl and i actually don't know who she is otherwise i probably would name shamer because she sounds like a bit and what she was doing she was like strutting along the whole thing and like someone was recording her literally fine she wasn't harm harming anyone until so this girl was like strut strut strutting down this corridor right and i'm just kind of stood there on the side but i'm facing inwards and she's strutting here okay <laughs> she's wearing big stiletto heels like six inches and i'm wearing little mules Just, uh, i'll show you the shoe i'll show you the shoe i was wearing right i'm wearing some of these okay these shoes she then proceeds to like shut 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 these are my toes right <laughs> she steps Wait. on the second to second no the toe next next to my big toe what the f god okay let's just use my hand she steps on <laughs> I don't know, this toe she just steps on it like literally this heel uh, into my toe and i went oh. i was going oh my god i was visibly in pain i was going oh i had to bend down and like it really, really hurt. It really, really hurt. But you know what? Accidents happen, okay? Like, she obviously didn't mean to. She was just really in the moment of her stretch, stretch, stretch. Um, So I was like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It really hurt. But I was like, fine. Obviously, right. Then, the same thing to do is to Apologize. turn to the person who you just stood on a toe and just go, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. My mistake. <sighs> she didn't do that, guys. She didn't do that. She actually looked at me. So I was in pain and went, ugh, and walked away. Stop, stop, stop. I didn't expect some heartfelt apology to get on his go, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I just wanted her to say, oh my god, I'm so sorry. What? What? And obviously my friend who's not an influencer was like, what the f Like, who the f is that? I was like, I don't know, I don't know. And I was like, oh my god, and then my toe was hurting and it was, it was all just too much. I think, why so rude? Why are you so rude? Well, maybe she was rude to you. She was rude to you, babes, because you got in her way, okay? Like, her being able to do a strut at an influencer event in a crowd of people was far more important than your toes. So maybe next time, just, like, be careful of, like, where you put your feet. And if you see her strutting toward you, just make sure that you, like, move out of the way. Like, how inconvenient of you to do that to her. For the record, we're not all like this, all right? Like content creators, there's a lot of really, really great content creators. People that I've met who are just so unbelievably talented and fantastic. Few people I can name, Stephen He. Great guy, incredibly talented, loved working with him. Julie Nolke, such a good actress, such a good writer. Like she's, she's so, so, so good at what she does. Azzy Land, wonderful person, love her to bits, okay? There are times where I will go to influencer events and I will meet like other people that are kind of like on, you know, like matching the energy. And, and sometimes it's super, super fun because those are the only people, you know, that I can nerd out with and I can talk to about this kind of stuff. There are really, really nice people that you see online that are actually really, really nice in person. For the record, I'm not though. I'm a complete <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I'm not a, but I am psychotic. Like I literally just sit here and like laugh to myself. <laughs> oh god. We love having you as a customer, but we no longer want our business to be part of your vlogs. How is this fair? A local coffee shop owner told me you're not allowed to record in here anymore. You can come in here as a customer, but no more filming. How could she say that to me and not everyone else? Like, how come people in this small town think that one rule can only apply to me, but not everyone else? Like, unless your coffee shop has a sign that says no filming, why do you just want to lay that rule on me instead of the rest of the general public going into your coffee shop? Now, I'll show you some of the videos I've made in this coffee shop. There really weren't too many. There's this one. Children between ages 8 and 12, on average, want to grow up to be a vlogger or YouTuber. There's this one, and that was empty. There were no customers. 
They can't claim people are complaining because there were no customers in there when I made that video. This one. Now, when I do these, I have the volume low. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's low. I already know the song. I just am making the trend. This is one. This is one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's bald. They're just like random TikToks. My volume is low. And not to mention, other people have their devices on too. It's a coffee shop. There were these ones. This one. I Wait, this one. They're, they're just me in the video. I guess there's this one and people are in the background, but that was like the skeleton dancing trend everyone did. I think you get the gist of what I'm saying. My videos in the coffee shop are the same videos millions of other people make on TikTok. Okay, but you're just going to one coffee shop and just like making your TikToks. Like, I understand that you're like working, okay? This is probably your job. But like everybody else who goes to a coffee shop and works is either quietly talking on a meeting, they have their headphones in, they're typing, maybe they might be, you know, on a call or something, but like they're not getting up and playing music and like dancing in the coffee shop and like distracting people and just like, it seems like you have kind of treated this coffee shop as your own personal studio space. <laughs> and I think that's why you got kicked out of the coffee shop for filming. They're harming no one. Like, so literally. I want to cry because I love this coffee shop and they close in one minute and I have to go and I'm not done work yet. And it's just so relaxing here. It's such a vibe. I have to leave and I'm so... <gasps> and half the time I'm the only person in the coffee shop in those videos. And I'm saying good things though. So. It's just like blowing my mind. This double standard you can't record in here but everyone else can um maybe you should put up a sign that says no recording then because that's not fair and i just am like genuinely happy when i'm in your coffee shop sharing little snippets on tiktok of my day this woman literally said no more vlogs in my coffee shop no more vlogs I'm sorry, but it's not, it's not your space. Like it's not, it's private property. If they don't want you to film your videos there, then you can't, like, I'm sorry. I agree that they should make it a general rule for everybody, but like, you're not just like sitting there quietly working. Like you're playing music, you're dancing. It sounds like you create a lot of your content in this coffee shop. So unless you got a deal worked out with them, you ask permission. Don't assume that you can go into any coffee shop and start dancing and, you know, because that's not your own personal studio space, okay? I saw Max's TikTok talking about a rude encounter with an influencer and I have so <laughs> many of these stories. And I think the reason why I have so many is because no one knows who I am. I go to these events and everyone's just like, who is she? Like, <laughs> I don't know. So they treat me yeah, like, Yeah, that's literally great. why. <laughs> Um, but because I have so many of these stories, he's now inspired me to share them. So here we go. So a really big influencer is at this event, right? And I'm getting pictures done in a section. Her and her friends come over and they're just like looking me up and down like, oh, just, oh. And I was like, yeah, hello. She's like, uh, she needs content and she needs to take pictures in this space right now. So you have to leave. And I was like, oh, but I'm like midway doing mine. And she was like, oh, and then walked away. <laughs> I was like, do you know what? I'm so sorry. I will just go myself. In fact, I will leave the event. My content. You need it more than me because you're bigger than me. So like, so sorry. <laughs> At another event and everyone's getting pictures done. No one asked me for a picture because again, who the f*** am I? No one. Um, but the people are getting pictures and I'm taking them for people. These two middle-aged women come up and they're getting pictures with people and I overhear their conversation and she turns to the other one and goes, is he famous? And she's like, I don't know, but we should get a picture with him just in case. And that made me die. Like, I thought that was so funny. So afterwards I'm laughing and he's like, why are you laughing? I went, oh, well, they actually didn't know who you were. And I'm laughing <laughs> and he goes, they do know who I am. Of course they know who I am. <laughs> he then calls me a bitch and then walks away. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why you're so pressed that two middle-aged women didn't know who you were, but <laughs> me, he got very upset about it. Wow, God forbid one person doesn't know who you are. <laughs> you humbled him real quick. He didn't like that. That was like the one thing he lives for is middle-aged women coming up to him and asking for pictures and you took that away from him. <laughs> 
party talking to these two influencers and I'm like so what kind of content do you do and they're like we do fashion I was like that's so cool I've always wanted to get into fashion but I don't really have any fashion sense they look me up and down and go we know <laughs> like f me okay if I wasn't insecure I'm definitely insecure now I then say I do TikTok and they were like yeah well TikTok's a really saturated market so like we can't see you becoming big anytime soon but like you should just keep trying it's really hard and I'm sitting there with my 700k thinking do you know what babes I will thank you I will try harder <laughs> First event I ever went to, I was talking to these girls in the bathroom and they're like, so how many Instagram followers do you have? And at the time I only had 10,000, so I was like, oh, 10,000. And she's like, why are you here? Like, it didn't mean to be rude, but like, like I have, you know, 100,000, like why, why was you invited? <laughs> so yeah, it's, some influencers are kids, not all of them. But some of them are. <laughs> if there's anyone that needs to be humbled more, it's, uh, it's influencers. <laughs> I'm just like curious. Hang on one second. Let me see. I want to look you up and see how many followers you have now, babes. You're super pretty, by the way. I really like your hair. Gingers unite. I'd be friends with you in an event. If I ever met you, I'd be like, yes, this is my people. Close to a million. Close to a million followers. For the record, I really like her personality and um, I just hope that it stays the same when she gets very big because I can see her getting very big. And we don't want to have to humble you. Stay humble, besties. Subscribe!